even with emissions regulations getting peeled back in some places, nobody is about to just toss billions of dollars of development work out the window. Especially not Ford. They've been cooking up something big, and it's not just another half-hearted hybrid gimmick slapped onto a heavy-duty frame. No, Ford's been grinding behind the scenes with new Arab and multi-energy technology systems, setting the stage for a legit game-changer. Meet the 2027 Ford Super Duty Hybrid, rocking the name Super Boost. If what we're hearing is even halfway true, it could seriously flip the heavy-duty truck world on its head. So let's get into it and break down what Ford's working on and how Super Boost could end up being the name to beat when the dust settles. What's the deal with Ford's multi-energy technology? All right, so let's talk about multi-energy technology, the beating heart behind the Super Boost setup. In plain English, it's Ford's way of letting one truck run on more than just one type of fuel without making it feel like a science experiment every time you hit the ignition. Join us as we explore the world of wheels. Subscribe now and buckle up for the adventure. Flexibility is the name of the game here, and Ford's been tinkering with the idea for a while now. If you're a longtime Ford geek, you might remember the super cheap concept truck from way back. It had that wild tri-flex fueling system that could sip gasoline, E85 ethanol, or hydrogen depending on what you had access to. Pretty futuristic stuff for the mid-2000s. Well, multi-energy tech feels like the spiritual successor to that idea. Only this time, it's been matured, battle-tested, and ready for real-world heavy-duty work. Instead of just swapping fuels manually, the system now uses sensors and onboard management software to pick the best energy source depending on conditions. One minute you're cruising on battery power, the next the gas engine kicks in to haul that 14,000-pound trailer over a mountain pass and then maybe a mix of both when you're just noodling around town. It's seamless, it's smart, and it feels like what the Super Chief dreamed about, but actually usable. How Ford's Arif system changes the game. Now, the other big piece of the puzzle, Ford's Arif system, extended range electric vehicle, if you want the fancy term. But don't get it twisted. This isn't about turning the Super Duty into some delicate plug-in toy that taps out when the going gets tough. In Ford's playbook, Ariv means the Super Boost can run purely on electric juice for a decent stretch, perfect for short trips, job site crawling, or sneaking out early in the morning without waking the neighbors. But when the battery starts getting low, a gas engine fires up, not to drive the wheels directly, but to generate electricity and keep feeding the electric motors. So you're still getting that smooth, instant torque electric motors are known for, even after you burn through the initial charge. Think of it kind of like the best parts of an EV and a traditional truck mashed together, without the range anxiety that usually comes with EVs. No hunting for charging stations out in the middle of nowhere. No panicking when you're towing heavy and the battery gauge starts dropping faster than you'd like. The gas engine has your back, keeping the truck moving without sacrificing capability. Could Super Boost actually happen and change everything? The 2027 Super Duty hybrid trucks using multi-energy tech and an air of setup sounds almost too good to be true, right? Big promises have been made before, and not every concept makes it onto dealer lots. But with the amount of cash Ford's already poured into electrification, plus the pressure to keep fuel options flexible, Super Boost feels a lot more realistic than some moonshot project. Ford's taking proven ideas, maturing them, and scaling them up for the heavy-duty crowd. That's smart and safe, but if they actually pull it off the way they're teasing, it could rip the whole heavy-duty segment wide open. Imagine a truck that hauls, tows, works like a beast, but can run silent in neighborhoods, burn less gas, and shrug off fuel shortages or charging headaches. Truckers don't like change for the sake of change, but they do respect better tools for the job. If Super Boost delivers on power and flexibility without watering down what makes a Super Duty a Super Duty, Ford could be setting the new blueprint everybody else will have to chase. 2027 can't come soon enough. Thanks for watching and see you next time.